just a few things to think about when planting forage crops in a rotation. First thing to look at is uh, ideally get a soil analysis of the field that you're planning on growing the fodder crops and act upon the findings of that, sorting out lime deficiencies and P and K deficiencies, uh, and, and ideally a year before you actually plant, to plant the crop. And think about the rotation. Most fodder crops are brassicas, so you want at least six years between the brassica crops, uh, mainly to think about club root. Then when it comes to drilling it, there's two main re ways of drilling crops, fodder crops now, either using a direct drill to drill it into sprayed off grass sward, which has got benefits when it comes to grazing off, there's, there's more of a sward to hold the livestock up, or there's a traditional plough and drill method. We need to roll the seedbed as soon as it's been drilled uh, to conserve any moisture that's there and improve the seed to soil contact. I think ideally I would like to plow, cultivate and roll. It's probably the more guaranteed and you start with a clean weed seed bank. However, if you're on steeply sloping land or stony, rocky land, then the direct drill approach would probably be more preferred. But if you don't manage to get rolled because of rain in particular, then that's not really an issue because you're going to have enough moisture from the rain to germinate the, the seedling. And once it's emerged, there's not really much of an issue. So I wouldn't roll beyond crop emergence. Uh, timings, most of these crops are sown in the April to June spell, uh, allowing you to utilize grass for an early bite. Uh, and then once the grass gets ahead of the livestock, you can um, take this field out of grass production and put it into fodder crop production. All the compound fertilizer should be applied to the seed bed and at least 50% of the nitrogen should be applied to the seed bed, but it's often all applied at the seed bed stage just to get the job done. If there's farmyard manure available, then uh, that can supply some, if not all of the, 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 the phosphate and potash requirements um, of a fodder crop. Uh, and other things to take um, and or think about is boron, sulfur, sodium, depending on the crops um, that you're growing. 